All right, everybody, welcome here to Versus Live, sponsored by StarCityGames.com and Carnox Chairs. Uh, my name is Corey Baumeister. I'm with... Ross Merriam. And we are playing uh, a little fun gauntlet action, getting ready for SCG Richmond this weekend. We are going to be playing Standard, Modern, and Legacy. Just just try and all favorite out. format. My favorite format. I just love it so much. Yeah, I just I know it in just like the back of my head. What the... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. I, was, that, was that from tennis yesterday? <laughs> We're going to have to leave and get Corey checked out. We'll be back in a minute. Exactly, yeah. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but we are playing a full team constructed match here in preparation for team constructed this weekend. We are going to be starting with Legacy. Yep. And uh, that means playing the card that is now apparently dominating two formats. It's Hogak, the Arizona Necropolis. My question is... When, if it gets banned in modern, are they just going to just get that card? Just be like, hey, we, we didn't mean to do this. Let's just get rid of this from existence. Or is it still going to hang around in Legacy and cause some problems? You know, I, I, it'll definitely hang around in Legacy. I don't yeah. think the card is overpowered for that format, but it is making some waves. And I'm going to be playing a Golgari Depths deck that utilizes Hogak. This is sort of the new thing in Legacy. We've got that package that we're used to from modern with Seder Wayfinder and Stitcher Supplier. Yep. It goes really, really nicely with Cabal Therapy, so that supplements Thoughtseize as our disruption package. Then we've got, uh, you know, uh, Elvish Reclaimer, a new card, you know, as a secondary... Crop rotation on a stick, right? Yeah, secondary <laughs> crop rotation, and just, you know, a beat stick if we need to get beat down. We've got yeah. one mana three fours, we got two mana two one first strikes to go combo with our eight eight tramplers. We, For free. Yeah, yeah th this can, <laughs> we could definitely put 12 power into play on turn two, just like you, you can in modern, uh, yeah. in addition to having this combo element and eight discard spells with some removal in the sideboards. So a very yep. well-rounded deck here. Yeah, the next sweet. Yeah, a lot of things going on, and we're going to be pairing it up against Azorius Stoneblade. Yes. Classic legacy archetype, sometimes yeah. uh, with a little bit of black in there for Esper, but now we're just straight blue-white. Yep, and I think it should be a good matchup. I mean, we got four swords to plow shards to deal with uh, Merit Lidge. You know, we'd still have Supreme Verdicts to just deal with the board if you try to go aggro a little bit. You can bounce Hogak with Jace. Like, I, I think it'll be a pretty close match. Um, Cabal Therapy can be an absolute beating, though, if you can time it right and maybe get my swords before um, before you, like, bring out Merit Lidge. You know, it, it, it could, go, could go south but overall, I think it's going to be a pretty close match. Yeah, this is a yeah. matchup where your disruption is going to be relevant. So I'm not going to be focused on just comboing as quickly as possible. I'm going to yep. try to set it up with some protection, whether that's you know casting some discard spells beforehand or yep. making sure I can leave up crop rotation or reclaimer activation with Sajiri Step to stop you from uh, sword supply sharing a merit age. So I remember that combo with uh, <laughs> Knight of the Reliquary. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's been a while, but it, it functions very well here. It still does. And, it. Uh, yep. You know, we're gonna. We're going to see if we can win through some uh, you know, excellent disruption for the matchup. Absolutely. Uh, as always, we're going to be taking your questions in chat. We got Dan in the booth today. Say hi, Dan. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, he, he Dan, Dan does the man. That game. Dan, he doesn't. He doesn't play nice. I, I, I've been here long enough. I have ascended above. <laughs> oh, the, uh, you've the, you've nice. transcended the bad jokes. He's a, you he, are a literal dad, though. I know. <laughs> you should like so, dad jokes here. I don't like them. I mean, I, I, I mean, I do like them, but I don't fall into the traps as easily as other people. Nice, okay, nice. The manager position, he's he's immune to our uh, BS. Huh? We're gonna we're gonna have to trick Dan. <laughs> we're gonna work. I'm gonna work on this. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna get you. It might, might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. But someday <laughs> you will be mine. But someday. And y'all, don't forget to uh, head over to cardox.com slash SCG. If you want to pick up one of these beautiful chairs, you can get 10% off and just be as cool as we are. And uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, yeah. That's the main thing. I, that's kind of a, I kind of wish we were less comfy. You know, I, <laughs> you know, I, I get so relaxed that. Yeah. Sometimes you just kind of fall asleep. Yeah. The first day we got him, Todd and I just took a nap. Did you? Yeah. Well, it was was it, it was did you guys get good viewership? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was asleep. I couldn't check. That's fair. You know, That's fair. Uh, if you want to uh, ask us any questions or offer your comments, make sure you tag at SCG Tour in the chat. Dan will uh, you know, be monitoring that. We'll take his best ones and throw them over to us. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to get right into it. Let's do the it. The marbles are sitting over there because oh, chat yeah. was unkind to me on Tuesday. And because he lost matches. Uh, but I won the match. It was worth 10,000 points. <laughs> Can you believe this? He's like, oh, this match, because I'm losing, is now worth 10,000 points. I said points. it well before I lost the other match. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Check Thank the tape. You. Thank Check you. the tape. Rewind the tape. Oh, hey, would you like to cut? No, you're good. Can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So We're you're going first. here. I am on the play. All right. And. Got a spicer? 
Yeah, we got a nice one here. We got a good amount of disruption. Okay. Um, I think mine is fine too. We have a little bit of problems uh, with mana here, but nothing uh, a brainstorm can't fix. So we're gonna keep. Okay, I am going to start with Swamp Thoughtseize. Maybe Thoughtseize. take that Brainstorm. You definitely might. I might have to do something about that because I need that Brainstorm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to be pretty low on resources here anyways. I kind of want to just do this. Kind of force with my Thoughtseize. It feels gross, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to force... Oh, force an Yes, okay. yes. No, no life payment there. Exactly. Okay. I always love throwing another pitch spell to my first pitch spell. Yeah. It's hard to cast multiples of those. Your turn. Especially early on. Exactly. Seems like this isn't the matchup where forcing a key spell is that important. So maybe even some of these come out, I would imagine. Yeah. Um. All right. How are you getting turn two Hogak this time? I guess it's possible, right? I guess you would need Conley Garden, Stitcher Supplier, and that would only be four cards, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You should play Modern Mana. You can, you can do it on turn two way easier. Well, it's a little awkward given that I'm suspecting a Brainstorm here. But it's going to be blind anyway, so I think I should just fire off this therapy. I'm going to respond. Brainstorm? Yep. All right. One, two, three... All right, now basically I want to hide the cards that uh, I don't want to be taken. Um, Should that uh, Thoughtseize be exiled? Yep. Oh, yeah, got him. We miss that every time. Yep, yep. Actually, it could be important. All right, I'm going to put these two back okay. and name away. So, now we play the Cabal Therapy game. <laughs> I am expecting that Swords to Plowshares are going back. Corey could have put a Stoneforge Mystic back if he wants to get some pressure down. Um, so this is more like a the card. What is the card that I'm sort of like scared of to mess up the flashback on the therapy? And it honestly is another brainstorm. But if Corey had another brainstorm, there's no way he forces the Thoughtseize. So yeah, I, I don't think I need to name that. Mind games. Yeah, this is a <laughs> tough name. Um, I think... I am just going to name. Hmm. So. Hmm. Look at the top of the library. To yeah. See. yeah. <laughs> Get a little help first. If you Stoneforge missing next turn, you miss out on the on the second card and presumably you'll tuck two cards to protect yourself. So you probably don't want to Stoneforge next turn. You're probably just playing land go. Uh, I'm just going to do a value one and name Snapcaster Mage and play towards the long game. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> so we got two Very islands, nice. Supreme Very Verdict, nice. and Jace. Um, I'm going to play Colony Garden. I don't really care about the cards in Corey's hand, so I'm not going to flash back the therapy, but I'll have that, you know, waiting in the wings. Available. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Uh, I'll pass it to you. All right. Attack with a plant token. Get it in there. Oh. Get that Jeremy in there. So <laughs> we saw Island Island Jace Verdict. So Correct. You need white mana and swords to plow shares. I don't like the sounds of this. I don't like the sounds of this. I am going to two legacy masters. Yeah. Distinguished in their plays. I'm going to bog you. Bog me, huh? Okay. I've been bogged. I'm going to play a one two Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. And I will pass the turn. All right. I am going to draw. Brainstorm? Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Hid a brainstorm on me. I did. So I did indeed. There's four unknown cards between the brainstorm and the draw step that <clears throat> of the previous turn. Let's see. 
And now it becomes a lot of mind games, too. I have to make sure I play around uh, um, certain options that uh, or just play around Cabal Therapy, essentially. I forgot to attack with my plant token. You did. That's Amateur. I'm sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> I think we're going to put... I want to put these back here. That's tough. Uh, Brainstorm is a notoriously difficult card. It yes. really is. It really is. I think we'll put these back. As someone who has played zero legacy in my <laughs> time, that makes a that makes a lot of sense for you to do that, Corey. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'll take your advice. Yeah. And then I'll uh I'll ship it to you. Okay, let's uh attack, I'll take it. Uh flashback disc ball therapy. All right, flashing back Cabal Therapy, eh? It's a little scary. I think I am going to force it. Uh, other way around. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the verdict gone. So there's Jace and three unknowns. Quite possible. I will play a Dark Depths. Lovely. And pass the turn. So I'm one short of using the Reclaimer to search for a Thespian stage and creating and Merit activate Age. it, yep. This is tough. I think I have to risk getting a land here to deal with this. Ah, it's just Sajiri Step right now is just such a pain of a magic card. So I feel like I really have to get Rejuvenator off the board and then deal with the Merit Leech. It's an easy task, right? Absolutely yeah. easy task. All right. I think we're just going to draw. That Set brings you to 19. Yep. And I'll play a Jace. And I think I just have to tick up. All right. Because if I don't tick up, then you can just... I guess you don't, you're not going to get three lands in the yard. But if I go to bounce, then you can Sejiri step it. Then you're a turn off from Thespian Sage. All right. I'll try it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <okay>. it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's uh, just nothing I can do there. I mean, I could go for the swords at end step, but yeah, you just can't tap out for the Jace. Is yeah. the problem? Like yeah. I, because I have, and the next turn I'm just gonna use the re the rejuvenator, or like if you do nothing, I'm just gonna rejuvenator on on your end step for thespian sage, and then set it up with the crop rotation for Sejuri step. Crop back. rotation will just be a, a protection from yeah swords of plowshare. So, yeah, for, for the uninitiated, I'm gonna find thespian stage, and then I can pay two tap. I have the thespian sage copy the dark depths. Now they're legendary, so I have to choose one to keep. I'll keep the stage copy because that has no counters. Yep, which yep. will then trigger because that has no counters. Twenty uh, twenty, um, come to play. I'll, I'll make the old Jerry Thompson. Yeah. Now that deck seems sweet. Merit Lage and Hogak. Nuts and gums. <laughs> <Never last. laughs> That's all I've ever wanted. The dream team, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it feels like the force of negation and force of will stuff just from my side just isn't that impactful. When you have so much dis disruption and discard that, like, I have to protect my cards, but I use too much resources, I, th I think I'd rather just have, like, more answers post-board, you know, maybe some surgicals instead of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
You know, they can be useful at certain times, especially against yeah. crop rotation. Yeah. Uh, but you certainly don't want a large volume of them. Yep. Yep. It seems like you want like one. You want to draw like exactly one force. Yeah. A game. Yep. All right. Well, we got any questions queued up there so far this uh, early in the show? We do. First Woo. and foremost, um, Ross, uh, Tannen, and Harlan, your teammates for this weekend, are <laughs> both in chat. Oh, yeah. Representing. Judging you. Glad to know you're both certainly. working hard preparing for this weekend. <laughs> uh, just uh, for, just, and we also have Nick in chat. Nick Miller. Uh, All right. Corey. Also working hard. Yeah, also working hard. Corey, <laughs> he, he actually does have a work-related question. Corey, who are your teammates uh, for Richmond this weekend? My teammates are Zach Allen and William Pulliam. Right. Yeah, cool. yeah. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah. Shaheen and Pete were just like, you know what? We did really good with you, but we're going to ditch you for this unknown scrub. And I was just like, unreal you guys would do this to me. Some guy named, by the name of Brian Bra Brown doing it or something. Did they get confused because you're both like bees, like Baumeister I think Brown so. doing it, and they just thought you were the same person? And I was already regged on the slip, so they're just like, well, we might as well just play with them at this point. Yeah. yeah they, <laughs> they probably they, felt they bad. They the wrong bee in the email and they're like oh well i guess we'll just fly bbd out now <laughs> so as far as questions are actually are concerned from yes. uh hostageev what is your favorite basic land art Ooh, the the full art unhinged lands i have those hung up in my uh in my stream room i love them i love them okay. they're hard to find these days though yeah uh, if you're talking about individual specific basic land it's the odyssey thundercloud plains if you're talking you know, about which set of lands, it's the original 96 arena lands mm -hmm. with the Serpent Island. Uh, those are, are just gorgeous. I yeah. wish I had picked them up before they, they skyrocketed recently in price. Really? Yeah, I should have picked them up five years ago. Nice, When the nice. islands were like three bucks a piece. Yeah, I have um, I have all five of the uh, Zendikar full, uh, full art lands. Yep, I'm those aren't bad. Yvonne. Those are awesome. Nice. I also have the unhinged, not the unhinged, the unstable full art island for uh, for the background on my phone. Okay, okay. I like the what's the newest set of the full art lands? The, is unstable. that unstable? Unstable, yeah. Unstable. The unstable swamp, I think, is just it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, so I'm on the play. You are indeed. All right, we'll see if this one can go a little better. I will keep. Likewise. All right, tundra. I'll do some pondering. Sure. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to keep... And we'll keep it like this. All right, jar card, pass it to you. Awkward. My hand is decent this time. We got a little bit, uh, little bit of stuff to do. Uh, play a Mox Diamond. Resolves. It's a Pitch of Dark Depths. Okay. Play Slater Wayfinder. All right. We on top four. Okay, at least we hit a land. Didn't get anything great in the graveyard, but land was so definitely something we were in the market for. <laughs> All right. You're in the market for it, huh? Okay, Stoneforge? Yep. I'm going to go get myself a Batter Skull, and it'll be your turn. I'm going to start this off with the Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize. Then we'll figure out what we want to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you want to? That, that guess, resolved, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see, I just saw a bunch of counter spells. Yep, the, yep. I figure I'll have uh, one regardless. So, so this is going to end up with me at 18. Uh, yeah, I, I can't take Corey off of a counter spell, uh, so I'm actually going to take the Brainstorm here. Okay. So let's do that. Sounds smart. Then I'm going to crack this for a Bayou. So I'm at 17 and play a Vampire Hex Mage. Okay, I'm not afraid of that card at all. Now, okay. do I want to counter that? I mean, yeah, how many cards do you have in it? I have three. Three, okay. It's definitely reasonable, but I can just deal with it with GTA pretty soon, but... If you were to just cast crop rotation, well, I guess crop rotation I could counter, but if you were just to cast or play dark depths and just make a 2020, I just cannot possibly win. So I think that means I have to. All right. Don't feel great about it, but we'll go like this. Take one. You're at 19. Yes. You're up. Now we just got a uh, artifact plan and a prayer. 
All right, and we'll pass it to you. <clears throat> Plus, killing Hexmage there allows to shut off Hogak a little bit, too, so I think it's actually quite correct. Elish Reclaimer. Reclaimer, okay. And... Two lands? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Maybe Hold that's up. what I want to do. Because I got this. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. All right. We are going to put in batter skull. Yep. Okay. Do we have a? What does this make a germ? Right. Germ. Uh, it's a. a germ? Yeah. Oh, BBD is a germ. Classic. Classic. You have, <laughs> you, have, you, have, you have GTA X in hand. A GTA X. Yep. Um. Hold on. Okay. Uh. Still on your end step. Yep. I'm gonna make two green. Cat. Okay. Um, actually, no, you're good. Two green. If I knew Legacy better, I knew exactly what you would be doing right now. <laughs> Always gotta keep them guessing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, now, am I afraid of dying? I, I hope not. So I think maybe I want to just really get a little aggressive here. Fetch brings you to 18. Yep. We're going to get a little aggressive. We, we got land four with the GTA. Yes, sir. Only one dual? The Zorius decks are usually pretty low on dual lands. Okay. They like Makes to get basics. Sense. They often have back to basics in their sideboard. Yeah, I suppose playing around Wasteland is probably a very important thing from this deck. Yep. The Ren and Six kind of Wasteland combo yeah. maybe not as good here. Yep. Usually you'll see one to two Tundras. All right, now I think I want to equip the Mystic. Um, I'm sure there's something that's going to punish me, but I just don't think you have much removal. So, yeah, we'll go like this and attack. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket in case you have something. Okay, uh, I'm going to make two green before blocks and a okay. black. Okay. I'm going to crop rotation these two, these two lands. Still with a black floating. And I will find the Spain Stage and Dark Depths. Lovely. Now I can tap this for black because of Urborg. Yep. Use the black floating. You know, do the whole combo thing. Make it 20-20. Right. We're just going to eat the germ. Well, luckily the four life is going to yeah. put me in still alive. And and the GT counters. Yeah. So the germ's true. dead. So you got two counters on that. You're at 22. I'm at 22. I got myself a 23, but maybe I missed a point. Fetch and force. Fetch and force. You're right. Okay, so 22. Um, you take one. You go to 17. Now uh, I go to 16. 16. Okay, now I have a choice between if I want to uh, remove a counter from GT to kill Seder Wayfinder to stop you from maybe hogacking a little bit, um, which could be reasonable. I'm still going to have to deal with Merit Legion. That's obviously going to be a problem. Um, and I guess I know your other card. Um, so I want to actually keep the counters. You don't have Hogak in the graveyard? Correct. Okay. And nothing else of relevant in the yard? Nope. All right, your turn. Your turn. Uh, attack you for 21. For 21. Blackjack. <laughs> All right. One life? Yep. You're up. <laughs> One life and a dream. You didn't play your green creature? Oh my god, you're so lucky. <laughs> you're so lucky. <laughs> you drew crop rotation, didn't you? That seems very unlikely, Corey. There are three in my graveyard. There's only four in the deck. Unreal. And hold on. Four, three, <laughs> and one. That only, that only leaves one by my math. Does that, does that work? Only uh, one left. <laughs> yeah, crop rotation here. <laughs> <Yeah, dang spot>. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Uh, 
on a rail. That was. <laughs> Did I want that? Was that a good one? High score? Yeah. I definitely had you in a rough spot because the one card in my hand was sword. But yeah. 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 The, the life giving you the ability to. Uh, to stay alive for the one turn, yeah, that definitely puts you in position to be aggressive there. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect double crop rotation, but there's really no other disruption that you can have in that spot. So I guess it had to make sense. Yeah. I mean, n if I didn't know that you had the rejuvenator, then maybe you just bricked or whatever. But uh, knowing that you had rejuvenator and you didn't play it, I, I had to suspect something like that. Double crop rotation, I guess, is the only thing that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, that was a pain. That was a pain. Nice top deck by Ross there. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, e even if you figure out that I have double crop rotation, then like, it's probably to your benefit to just throw away some resources to bait me into doing it. Yeah. And then, because you have the swords back. And then you know I only have the one crop. Like, or, no, it'd probably just be best to just batter skull, right? Just attack mm -hmm. for four, leave open white. And then if you go to make a merit lead, then I just pl sort of plasher right immediately, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're yeah, just dead. But, but then, there's yeah. a, then there's a chance I just... Like, s s s not, uh, Suss out that that's what you have and start slow playing. Then the reclaimer yeah. becomes an issue because I can slow the combo down. No, because I'd have Gta going right. Oh, I guess I did tap out for Gta. I wouldn't have yeah. that. But you'd go rejuvenator and then I'd go end step flash and Gta, and then I would untap, equip the Gta to the batter skull attack. If you go for merit liege, I swords it. If you don't, then I just remove two counters and kill the rejuvenator right away. Well, I can uh, I can use one crop rotation and rejuvenate oh, to get up to three lands. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And then, and then that'll and then set up the combo, and then I'll untap combo with the crop rotation. Yeah. And it gives you a little time to do that, but I honestly think if you have the swords like baiting me into just going all in with it, with the mm -hmm. crop rotations makes sense. Yeah. You just get burned if I draw a discard spell or the last crop rotation. Yeah, or even like the thing is that's so resilient about your deck, you can also draw Seder Wayfinder gives you four looks at a disc at Cabal Therapy. Yep, or a stick. You only fire, have one yeah. name. I mean, I could have like, I could have Jace, I guess, but there's more swords, so it's always going to be correct. But. Yeah. So just to be clear, uh, Ross, what were you going to crop rotate for at the end? Oh, oh a, yeah, I a, suppose. There's right? a singleton copy of Sajiri Step. Can we yeah. bring that one up? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, uh, so uh, I suppose that was confusing for people. We just uh, we knew how it was going to play out, but yeah. yeah so it's, a, uh, it's an old. It's a from either Zendikar or Worldbreak, probably Worldbreak, right? Worldbreak, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so enters the battlefield, tap taps for a white mana, and when it enters the battlefield, you get to give a creature you control protection from the color of your choice until end yep. of turn. So it's just a singleton here to crop rotation or Elvish Reclaimer for to protect your creatures from removal. Yeah, notably Merit Leech. Yeah. yeah, no, and that's nice giving that protection as well as having the option to just crop. rotation rotate for like a bazooka bog is another nice silver yep. bullet you can do against like dredge or just if i have swords in the graveyard yep. i go snapcaster you go in response bazooka bog like ouch <laughs> there's also a, a singleton copy of wasteland in the deck that can okay. answer caracas oh um, or answer opposing dark depths like if, if yeah. you're in the mirror so that single wasteland that puts in some work deck or, seems like a well-oiled machine yeah. and sometimes you just need to to find colony garden or dried arbor so you can cast ogak yeah or i mean in any kind of sack or creature outlet you respond by throwing in a plant or whatever you know yeah. I, I don't know how Many Liliana the Veil type effects there are in uh, Legacy. Yeah, there but, are some. Uh, yeah. Diabolic Edict is a pretty popular True. one. Crisis though, uh, Control. My love. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take a short break here, get some sideboard set up. Yes. Maybe, uh, you know, Corey can try to win a game, I guess. Oof. Ouch. Right. Shots fired. <laughs> we're going hard. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back to Versus Live here, sponsored by Carnox Chairs. We are in the legacy seat now, and we are doing a little sideboarding. And uh, did you accidentally, did your time run out and you got auto-submitted over there? Yeah, or? I got up and I got a drink, and then like yeah. the phone rang. I had to pick that up. And, We've and all by the been time there. I got back, it was, it was we're, we're Time was up. All right, so Your non-existent dog. <laughs> yes. No, I, I just don't think I have anything in my sideboard that I want. Veil of Summer yeah. is like only okay. I already have a bunch of discard spells, which are good against counter spells. So, yep. and Veil of Summer does not stop Swords to Plow shares. You know, if you had some sort of black removal like Diabolic Edict or Tyrant Scorn, you know, I think Veil of Summer would be a lot better. And sure. then, you know, the, the various removal spells is just not necessary in this matchup. So I'm presenting same 60. All right. I mean, you got lucky to win that last game, but 
an odd flex on me to just not bring anything in. Impressive, impressive. I told you, I'm going hard today. <laughs> okay, so as far as what I got, I think Spell Pierce is pretty weak. Uh, on the play, it is a little better uh, against hand disruption spells, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm um, taking out a couple force negations because we saw in the last game, I had to really, or the first game, I should say, I had to give away so many resources uh, to stop your key spells that were going to take my key spells. Um, so I just, I, I think I want to take those out. Plus, Supreme Verdict doesn't seem great. I want to bring in Surgical, maybe either nab a Hogak before you can play it, or if you get rid of a combo piece, or if I deal with a combo piece, maybe I could just strip all your Dark Depths and kind of cheese you out from there, and I mean, basically, if you don't have Dark Depths and you don't have a Merit Legion, it seems pretty tough for you to win. Yeah, I mean, I have the Hogak yeah. backup plan, but you're yeah. pretty well, you know, set up to stop that. Yeah, like you bouncing know? with Jace or like yeah. a path at once, you know, it, it, it seems pretty decent. Yeah, and but, even yeah. if I protect it once with a Sajiri step, you know, yeah. eight damage is a hit you can take and yeah. then you know, survive and, and start doing other stuff. Exactly. And if I got three true name nemesis, boom. A Hogak killing machine. <laughs> and then I'm bringing in a couple more uh, wannabe swords to plow shards here, uh, yeah. doing their best impression at being a great magic card. You can't have that many basics, though, huh? Uh, th yeah, there's a couple. Okay. There's, okay. At there's at least one of each. All right, all right. Okay, so we're going into... Uh, our third game, I am down 0-2, so I'm going to have to beat you in some quick ones or just uh, just come back and crush you in modern and standard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got any questions over there, Dan, while Corey so, is shuffling up? Uh, yeah, from Tan and Grace. Uh, the Tan and Grace? The Tan and Grace. <laughs> Ross, do you want to play Legacy this week? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the... Uh, the, the Next two decks that I'm playing are actually the decks that our team is planning on registering okay. uh, this weekend. This one, I tried to, you know, get Tannen's list as well, but he has yet to, to settle on an archetype. A little bit lost right now in Legacy, I guess. So, uh, you know, I don't know if this keeps going really well. You know, I, I could I could consider it, <laughs> but I, I, I've been testing standard all week. I think I think Legacy is your domain, buddy. Yeah, that sounds about right. I, I believe in you. <laughs> we got one more before we start this game off. Um... Yes, from TJ Savage 17. Corey often calls Grixis his baby. Why isn't he playing it today? <laughs> I call Grixis my baby. I think I think I've referred to it more often as Grix. I should probably not say that. <laughs> it's, it's Rhymes with default. heinous. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a big Grixis fan. I, I enjoy playing it because I mean casting Nicol Bolas the Dragon God is just sweet, especially on Arena. You hear the animation or the noises it makes. It it sounds dark. Yeah. Whenever not it dies, it's just no. <laughs> <laughs> not particularly good against dark depths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so No, I do enjoy Grixis, but uh I figured I would get destroyed. We wanted to uh have a little bit of a, a closer match here. Yeah. All right, let's start this off here. I'm gonna sack this. But I do enjoy Grixis and Legacy, that's for sure. Yeah. Prismatic Vista fetch to nineteen. Yes. Get yourself an Island. This feels like a ponder. I'll be pondering my options. Uh. <laughs> All right, so I'm at 19. Thank you there, bud. All right, we'll go with the ponder. Do we like these magic cards? Yeah, they're not bad. The question is, how expensive are they? <sighs> they're expensive enough. <laughs> and then I'll pass it to you. So if we take a peek at our hand, it's it's definitely a, a work in progress, I would like to say, but it's uh, it's not too bad. Okay. I'm going to crack this fetch for a Bayou and play okay. Elvish Reclaimer. Gotcha. And then I will pass the turn. All right. I'm uh, at 19 as well. So this card, every time I don't kill it, it ends up being horrifically bad for me. So I think I just want to just get rid of it now while I can. Um, it fills up the graveyard. It goes and gets combo pieces. It can also tap for Hogak. I'm just going to get rid of it now. Okay. I'm going to go to 20. 20. And then I'll pass it to you. Now. All right. First few turns of uh, Legacy here are insanely important in this matchup, it seems. So I think uh, we usually can tell... who. Who's swinging into uh, um, into victory here, usually by the first few turns? Let's play another Reclaimer. All right. And then I've got Nurburg, and you're up. Okay. 
All right. Now I think we are going to... I'm just going to try to slow you down as much as I can in judgment. Pass to you. That Caracas is kind of annoying. Caracas. I wanted to, and I wanted to, normally I would kind of want to. the Singleton Wasteland. I was like, normally I would want to hold Caracas to, uh, you know, make sure it's a bit of a surprise. But if I do want to brainstorm and I want to put other lands back, I want to have my best land in play, essentially. You're up. All right. So at least we're slowing you down a bit. All right. We're going to start with a, a Ponderino here. Sure. Continuing to ponder your options. I'm just pondering every option here. Um... Now, these cards, if we take a peek, not great, but one card is decent, so maybe it's not good enough. We're just going to shuffle because nice. that card is uh, not great right now. I love shuffling off a of ponder. Do you? It's like my favorite thing. Really? <laughs> you can always do better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll draw a random card. That is a little better. Um, we'll go with this, and I'll say go. Hmm. Our hand is a bit weird. A bit weird. I will play Dark Depths and attempt a Vampire Hex Mage. I'm going to respond with a Brainstorm. Sure. <laughs> All right. All right. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll put these two back. Yeah, that resolve. Oh, that's good. <laughs> pass the turn. All right, so we'll start this off by sacrificing this. Which brings you to 18. All right. We're mildly terrified of this, but it's not the end of the world yet. But a combination with crop rotation could be the end of the world. Um, so we'll start by trying to find a way to disrupt that. Brainstorm. Okay. We'll put these two on top. I already played a land, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. These two on top, and then pass it to you. Do I want to go for it or be a little bit more conservative? <clears throat> the world is your oyster. I'm pretty content to slow play this, actually. All right. We didn't have it, chat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, mush for a dose. Okay. You're at 16. 16. And this is why I'm content. Thoughts easy. Let's tap the dark tips, actually. Okay. That's reasonable. Um, I'm going to respond. Another brainstorm? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I got options here. If we take a look at my hand, I'm deciding between this. Um, we're going to cast Brainstorm regardless to uh, hide our goodies. It's a tough one. Definitely a tough one. We'll just Brainstorm. Sure. All right. Draw three. We're going to put two cards back. That is how the card works. That is how the card works. <laughs> I think I want to put these back. Just my best cards. Um, still going to get a good juicy target from Thought Seas. Unfortunately, I don't think there's really anything I can do about it. So, yep, we're going to put these back and let you take, I'm guessing... Uh, I'll take the Snapcaster Mage. Smart. Got two ends in a GTA. I'm going to be at 18. Okay. And then I will play a Colony Garden. Get the 17, old... sir. Uh, fetch Thoughtseize. Oh, Fetch Thoughtseize. Okay. Yep. 17 to 16, right? Uh, no, but I, I gained one off the Swords to Plowshares. Yep. Oh, you did, yeah. 
18 to 16? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Dan. <laughs> Dan the man. Trying to confuse me over here. You're up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to play Jace. What a top deck. Sure. Oh, brainstorm. Um. Also fine. All right, we'll put back these two. Pass the turn. I will make a merit lage. Sack, hex mage, target the depths. Yep. And uh, I guess I just have to go for it now. Yeah, all right. Crop rotation, the yeah. Garden. It's just so. I mean, like, there's, there's nothing I can do because when you thought sees, I could leave Snapcaster and Swords of Plowshot on top, but then I can only have, yeah, you know, one access to one of them the next turn, anyways. Like, it's just so brutal. So I had to risk it by putting Jace Sword on top. So then I brainstorm into it to just try that. Yeah. Try to hope that that's enough. But yeah, I had the protection the previous turn, but it was yeah. kind of likely that you had two answers. Yeah. Um. Though. I guess yeah. If, if you go for it on my turn, if you have if your two pieces of disruption are swords plus snap, yep. you try to swords on my turn, then you let it happen, and then you have to let me untap. Yeah, because you don't get to swords again, unless you have a swords already in your graveyard, which you didn't. Uh, so yeah, but you could just get to untap and upkeep it. Yeah. Well, and but, I only had three mana, so okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was just all kinds of bad. That deck is sweet. Yeah. No, it's very consistent at finding the combo, and it's yeah. really nice how you know. Uh, at least one of the Hogak pieces in Seder Rayfinder actually lets you dig towards combo pieces yep. as well. You know, and then they both synergize with therapy, which gives you another piece of disruption for the combo. Which also uh, has a good plan B for Hogak. They all synergize with that as well. Yeah. So it's 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 often not a good idea to try to take like two different decks and mash them together. Yeah. But this deck has so much overlap yeah. between you know the the cards that are there for one half of the deck also synergize with the other half of the deck. I don't know. I kind of disagree with that. Sense. One of my favorite uh, decks of all time that was just two decks smashed together was Doctor Sword combo with uh, Hex Mage Dark Depths uh, back in Extended here at Pro Tour Austin in like I don't know 2010 that, or something. But but that that had muddle the mixture to overlap between the two. That's true. That's true. Yeah, muddle the mixture. Oh yeah, and you still just have the the nut draw of Urborg, Thoughtseize, Dark Depths, Hex Mage. Go. Yeah, this, this deck <laughs> has that too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, really impressive showing from this Gak Depths deck. If, yeah. you, if you haven't been following a lot of Legacy recently, this is a deck that is definitely going to show up in numbers this weekend in Richmond. I expect it to perform well, and I think it's already making you know, making other decks you know significantly worse. A lot of like the Delvery decks, you know, bl blue decks that don't have access to Swords to Plow shares, I think are in rough shape. And even this oh, one, yeah, how hit, does Teamer, how does Teamer Delver beat yeah. that deck at all? Like you know, Wasteland is very good. You, sure, know, you, gotta, sure. you always get to Wasteland the the. the but Renan, yeah, Renan Six and Wasteland, hey. I guess, can get you, but... But those decks have a really tough time with Hogak. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't spend mana casting it. Sometimes you just frequently have the land tap to, to pay yeah. for days. Yeah, so it seems like whenever one side of the combo, either Hogak, you know, I, I consider Hogak just a one-card combo. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> when either Hogak or the Dark Depth combo, when at least one of them is good against a certain deck in Legacy, I feel that deck is going to be fine or well-positioned. Yeah. If, you know, they're not, if both pieces are bad, then you might run into just bad matchup. I don't know, maybe like Miracles or something like that. That's uh, Yeah, Terminus could be, like, they just have more answers and, and more dig, where yeah. you just have, like, some elements that are better against other decks but aren't good against the Depth stack yeah miracles could be it the the mono red prison deck you know and staring bridge is going to be a problem yeah no uh, that makes sense but when i'm just kind of like the one dimensional deck that's just trying to deal with your creatures with white base removal you know i mean that's all you have to play around you know it's just okay can i beat swords maybe two swords and maybe a force if i have to you know yeah. it, it seems a little rough so yeah it's sort of like yeah. you know like <laughs> storm is pretty well set up to deal with a single force of will but when you start combining different disruptions or just overload on them then it can get tough and you know the, the the missing element for you is you're, you don't have wasteland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, that seems a little tough. Um, and like I said, like like we've stated at the beginning, I'm no legacy expert <laughs> here, so you know maybe there was something I could have done differently. But I gotta say to Tannen out there, why doesn't he just play that deck? That deck seems sweet. <laughs> or why don't you just switch over? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure we'll talk about it after the show. Sure, uh, sure. I'm, I'm sure we'll get into a little a little group chat. But Absolutely. this deck looks quite good. It is super fun to play with. Um, it looks fun. Yeah.
You're doing way cooler things than I am. <laughs> I just do a typical thing. So there are plenty of people out there that love casting their ponders and brainstorms. Ugh. And I'm, I'm among them. But I, I like, I don't like just casting ponder and brainstorm without having them do something. Yeah. That's why I like it. Is it Phoenix is super fun? Because my ponders and brainstorms are, you know, worse than that. But yeah. they're leading to, you know, Woken Horrors and Double Phoenixes on turn two. And I'm more of a fan of that as well. Yeah. The actual just try to find every pieces of the puzzle to solve. Not my thing. You know, yeah. some people like solving puzzles. I like, uh, I like throwing puzzles at my opponent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we're, we're a little early. Let's take a few questions if we got them, Dan. Yeah. Uh, so from Big Jim with a bunch of X's before in the middle and the afterward. Uh, <laughs> When will we see the Brothers War, Corey versus Brad? Ooh. You are uh, a few months too late, buddy. We already had that. Yeah, no, but I mean, let's just say, I mean, uh, Pro Tour Richmond is going to be, you know, at the that end of November, and that's the week before the Invitational. And I wouldn't see why Brad wouldn't want to play the Invitational. And if that Brad wouldn't, never. if wouldn't, if Brad would want to play the Invitational, I wouldn't see why he wouldn't want to be at my house and if he wouldn't want to be at my house why wouldn't he want to come and play with us yeah well we got we got open seats if we got some people that want to roll through brad i'm yeah. sure todd will be back and we'll we'll, yeah. we'll cycle them in as uh as appropriate yeah uh, when we get that opportunity but, but all if that we have an option i think there might have to be a brother battle coming back uh you know yeah but before I came into his house, you know, now he's coming into mine. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, my, it was actually my older brother who taught me how to play magic you know, okay. 20 years ago. Sure. Uh, and he hasn't played in many years. Maybe I'll have to brush him up, get him down here. Then we can do an actual brother's war. Brother's war? Yeah. A two headed giant <laughs> brother, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The magic brother's war has an apostrophe here, right? Because it's the two brothers fighting. This would be brothers without the apostrophe yeah. because it's two sets of brothers. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, got a well, grammar right. The first time that Corey and Brad faced off inside the studio, check out our uh, YouTube page. It was a fun one. It was yeah. a really fun one. Yeah. We essentially battled our SCG winning decks, and at the time, I only had one, you know, yeah. which was green white tokens that. I don't know if you remember, I kind of smashed you with when you're Delver nonsense. Yeah, your eight green source yeah. Noble Hierarch deck played Noble Hierarch turn one every game. I, and like two good. or three of them on turn two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got a we got a resurgence that deck again. Green White Tokens has just yeah. like I've never lost with that deck in the history of time. So yeah, just gonna have to keep <laughs> keep spamming it. Exactly. Like yeah. that annoying guy in a fighting game. Yeah. yeah. A button. <laughs> the A button is just noble hierarchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, can't <punch> <laughs> uh, you can't. There's a there's worse cards to spam than a noble hierarchy. I'll tell you that. That's true. That's true. We got one more question over there, yeah, my we friend. Got, we got a few. Okay. Um, quickly from Craig H A. Not a question, but. <laughs> It's my birthday today, turning 33, <laughs> catching up to old man Ross. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm only 30. <laughs> so I think I'm the one catching up to you, but we're not actually because mm -hmm. we age at the same rate. But I, I know it seems like I'm 74. Yeah. Uh, but hey, you're only 30? I am 30 years old. You don't look a day over 38, buddy. Good work. <laughs> 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 I knew something was coming. I was like, there's no way this is actually a compliment. The, the, the uh, comment has also ended with give me free stuff. <laughs> Let's VIP that person. We, <laughs> they don't even give us free stuff. We've been clamoring for yeah, Carnox yeah. chairs for months now. Yeah, the, so get in line. The time that you we get a free chair is the day we'll give you like a free sub to this channel. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you tag at Cedric A. Phillips on Twitter. <laughs> He's gonna let him on. know that we need free chairs. <laughs> oh, classic. Uh, so actual question from I Exterminator. What is it going to take to get cultural players in versus live like Patrick Sullivan, Ryan Overturth, or even Cedric? Well, Ooh. they have to be in the area for yeah. performance. Yeah. We actually have had Ryan Overturf on a video. Have we? Yeah, that that'd be awesome. awesome. So that is yeah. also be on our YouTube page. That was a video that we did uh, between the Open that I won in Baltimore and the Invitational, the Season 2 Invitational last year. Uh, Ryan, we had a... a Somebody was sick, and we needed a fill-in, and we got Ryan here, and we actually had Emma Handy in the booth. Oh, so we had fun. Ryan, I was playing against Ryan uh, just doing a gauntlet with it. Is, it. is it Phoenix? We had Emma in the booth. It was a super fun show. Uh, so if you want to see Ryan, we, we've done that once. But, yeah, like I said, as, as people come through, you know, we'll, we'll get them on camera as as we can. Yeah. But a lot of it we is We share. Just, yeah. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Yeah. 
but it's not something that we have the opportunity to do all the time. Yeah. We can't really fly people in to do this. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but as 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 we can, we try to cycle people in. So just uh, stay tuned. I would love tuned. to play against Cedric yeah. Phillips, too. That yeah. would be fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, lesson to play against Cedric, always block. Always the man block. loves a bluff attack. Nice. Block every time. Nice, nice. I would do that. <laughs> Tannen wants to know Tannen on versus when. <laughs> so once he wins a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in for that. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, I had to steal yeah, your answer. You, can, you can do the show after you win a trophy. We'll let you play with your winning deck, uh, <laughs> and we'll give you maybe we'll give you a crown. Yeah, we'll uh, play for trophies like yeah. we did. So maybe you won't have it for long. It, it'll be a Burger King crown, but a crown yeah. nonetheless. Yeah. Bring Benny. <laughs> yes, that is also a, a stipulation requirement. <laughs> Benny is is His Santa's cute dog. dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh a, yeah, yeah. I've seen pictures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all we all have, and we all want more. Excellent, excellent. Well, okay. I suppose we will be uh, we will be coming right back. We're going to be playing some modern now. Moving on to modern, you are playing Urza Sword, which is what your team yeah. is is on. This right? is I. Talk to Harlan Fear, who Tan and I are teaming with. Got the list straight from him. Yep. This is the list that he is currently on. Cool. So we're going to be playing that against Glogak, the newest Ogak build. Yeah. Put it up to the test. Going to take a short five-minute break here. Be back in just a minute for some continuation of our team-constructed match with some modern. And I'm going to try to win a game. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 